All right, coming in from Niwer is a new tripod. So back when I was a lad, my father purchased me this uh, Vanguard tripod that did have branding on it. I can't remember where the branding is, but it, there's there's branding on it somewhere. Uh, and it served me for many years. I think I've had it since about 1993 or so. Uh, I've used it almost every day and it served me very well. Uh, one of the things that I did lose off it for a long time was the head. But I managed to get it back, so it got a couple of months off whilst it was lost. However, that head has not endured for as long as the tripod has. As you can see here, this uh, rubberized stuff has, uh, well, it's melting on <laughs> it. Uh, being tightened to the bottom of the camera has eventually broken down any protective qualities that were in there. And now this screw thread just... No, it falls away so it's uh, I can't take it out of the house anymore for fear of losing that screw thread and to get this uh, tripod head piece mounting bracket if you like uh, has proved to be quite difficult I haven't seen terribly many of them online but I, I continue to look so that has made me want to go out and get myself a nice new tripod purely for doing these videos so I've done that so I've gone and picked myself up the Niwer portable 70 inch aluminium alloy camera tripod monopod three-way swivel pan head uh, tripod thing. Um, it's not a particularly expensive tripod but it's it's merely for the studio here so that I can do some recording and keep a permanent setup with the camera on board. Uh, it does seem to be quite portable, but I do, do quite like some of the functions here, so I thought I'd show it off. So, pulling it out, it comes in a bag. It does seem to be very popular on Amazon. There, There's a lot of them selling, so uh, people want to know what they're going to get. Um, it's, a, it's a fair enough bag, I suppose. It's quite small, quite compact, uh, which means the, <laughs> the tripod inside is compact, and it has a shoulder strap here as well for you to uh, sling over your shoulder oddly enough you have a zip and there's another zip as well so there's, it's a two-way zip you can meet in the middle if you need to and we'll just have a quick look at the bag uh, it's, it's really simple it seems to be that material it's almost like that fireproof material that racers wear in their fire suits um, and it seems to be well stitched. It's not going to rip apart too easily, although there are bits obviously from the factory floor. I don't know if it's waterproof, it doesn't actually indicate. There's no label on it, but I imagine it's probably showerproof. A nice plastic bag, hold the hole. Okay, so we have the user manual, which is a page. And we have instructions on how to do it. We'll have a look and close up at, at the quality of the pieces here. And uh, information about all, all the different features. Uh, then we have a, a customer support system. I, I do like Neewer. They, they do tend to make some pretty good quality things at a, a very reasonable price. Okay, so we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. Obviously we have a little rubber foot pad here, uh, which is adjustable, articulating if you like. Uh, then we have our their plastic, yeah compared to my other uh, camera tripod, uh, there's, there's plastic notches here to uh, adjust the height of it. Uh, we have a hook here for you to hook on a sandbag or whatever you happen to need to, to hook onto it to steady the center of the tripod if maybe you're... I remember work, uh, using it in the back of a car once and having to use one of these so that I could film directly out the windscreen as someone was driving. These are, I feel like aluminium, they're quite strong, 
pushing and pulling on them doesn't seem to have any noticeable impact on their their structure it looks like I wouldn't go smashing them against things but uh, they do appear to be quite strong the the hook is plastic and it appears you can take it off as well and then this is for tightening the center column which is plastic that's uh, kind of unfortunate but it's plastic then obviously the legs themselves are aluminium it was an aluminium alloy alloy they said it was and we have some sponge here to, for, uh, for where you're going to be holding it and for protection whenever you set it down. It's very loud whenever you set it down, but uh, obviously these plastic pieces are the ones that are actually going to affect it more so. Because they're the bits that actually touch the table here, uh, as, as does the top. So they're more for you holding them and lifting them because you tend to lift a tripod by here. However... One of the things I liked about this was that it's got a handy handle. It is entirely plastic. It moves up and down so it doesn't get in your way. You can fold it away, you can pull it up, you can fold it down like that or whatever. Um, it, it's just super useful to have. Super useful. Uh, although it does obviously bump into that. But that pushes this up, which pushes the handle out. So it's actually quite a, a, a unique method, yeah, that's, that's kind of a, a neat idea to do that. I like that. Maybe this has been happening <laughs> for for years, but uh, I suppose I haven't bought a new tripod in about 25 years. So uh, we have the new rebranding there, and it, it's, it's looking quite good so far. The head of the tripod does appear to be all plastic. We have plastic pieces here around the top. Um, does seem to be slightly more quality plastic than you might expect but um, it's, it's still plastic nonetheless that's a bit of a shame and then we have a, a tightening bolt there for the turning of the head this piece here is is good good solid plastic it's not uh, particularly flimsy in any way as is this it does seem to be a good tightening in there. There's a like a rubber washer underneath, so you're, you're not going to crack any plastic if you tighten it too hard. And then up toward the head, it is all plastic around there. We obviously have a 90 degree angle that we can move the camera to. And yeah, it, I'm not 100% on this. I, I don't particularly like the head of this tripod, but it's... It's a tripod that's going to remain in the house at all times and not taking it out into the wilds of the jungle. So I guess it can be plastic for the price paid. I imagine it'll probably last quite long. Although I, I, then the head itself, you use this butt lever here to extract it. And underneath we have, well, that, that's the main part of the head. There's this plastic thing that I've seen in the reviews that people don't like because whenever you have it at that angle this hangs down low and it makes it quite difficult for you to attach this to the top to the, the top of the tripod or the mounting plate to the head of the tripod um, so you have to do it at a bit of an angle so that it falls on but that, that's been a common problem for tripods for many years uh, you have a screw thread and uh, the uh, alignment it. it is plastic but this appears to be a particularly universal size that's the main reason why I'm not uh, or why I, I can't get a head to fit my current tripod which is frustrating me somewhat because this is what most replacement heads appear to have on the bottom of it however it's This bit here that that's concerning me. Although I am noticing that you can, in fact, ah, take this off and replace it with a better one. So if you're quite happy with the legs, that's pleased me. <laughs> so you can have your head. You can interchange it with other tripods as well. Thank you, Niwer, for. For giving us that option that that's really quite nice and it, it helps me film this a little better as well the 
the, the bolts actually do feel quite solid uh, for being plastic, being used to uh, an awful lot more quality plastic with my current uh, tripod. This, this isn't bad for the money. This is actually quite nice. Then, then of course there is the all-important function of the monopod and I had to try and work out exactly how to get access to it and we just we unlock that, pull this out and you have a monopod and I didn't see too many pictures of this online uh, so here it is in greater detail. We have a rubber bottom to it and that pulls out like that with a telescopic adapter of which there are uh, three pieces and that stretches to a maximum height of 134 centimeters or 58 or 52.8 inches you turn it to lock it and it stays like that uh, which works at uh, any particular height so it's a really novel little addition and then you turn that to lock that in place useful even just for this piece here holding it like that like a wand with your camera on then that's a, a pretty funky little feature to to include it's very nice so then as for the specs of the tripod itself the tripod height uh, at, a, at a minimum as it currently is is 20.9 inches and that's 53 centimeters or if you were to extend it it would be 69 inches, 69.7 inches, and 100, which is 177 centimeters. The tilt range is 180 degrees, and it has a panning range of a full 360, which is, well, to be expected, actually. It weighs about four pounds, which is 1.8 kilograms. So just to know that whenever you're putting it into your backpack, it is actually, well, I suppose I've been holding it in one hand for a wee while now, and it's, it's starting to feel quite, well, heavy, to be honest. But uh, it, it's, it's a light tripod. It, it looks pretty good. Um, it feels pretty good, and I'm quite pleased with it. It's a perfect little studio tripod. The whole thing weighs in at 176 kilograms, which is 3.88 pounds. And obviously there's three tiers to the legs, which I can't exactly show you here and now because of the limited viewing angles that we have. And this little hook can take up to four kilograms. It's a plastic hook, but I'm wondering if we can swap it out for... Uh -huh. This comes off as well, so you can put on a metal hook if you're so inclined. Bit of plastic. Seems to have a few scratches that have come out of the factory. And now that we've got that on, I think the last thing we could show you is the spirit level. There is a very small spirit level just on the side. Useful, obviously. Every tripod should have one. If it doesn't, don't buy it. So yeah, um, I'm going to go and attach this to my camera and film an unboxing of another item. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments box down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications and give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy. Remember to tune in to TalkSport on a Wednesday morning at half past midnight for all the latest in crazy gadgets around the world. And other than that, take care.